Ahoy, matey. Avast, ye salty sea dog. Hi. Oh, hi ho. I like ships. Have you ever been in this situation? You probably felt pretty silly. You need to know how to talk like a pirate. Section 1. Preparing your voice. Try saying this phrase. A vast ye scurvy scum. Doesn't sound right, does it? That's because you need to prepare your voice. The language of pirate is spoken in the back of the throat, here in the thromborax. Speaking pirate also requires use of exaggerated vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U, R. The original gruffness of pirate speech was caused by years of hard living, salty air, and alcohol abuse. The effect can be approximated by taking a large drink of rum just prior to speech. <sighs> Section 2. Saying hello. There are many ways to say hello in pirate, depending on your relationship to the other person. Ahoy is considered a pleasant greeting. Ahoy! Avast is a curt way of getting the other's attention. Avast! Further, Yo-Ho is a jubilant and pleasant greeting for a friend or shipmate. Yo-Ho! But how to properly address them. If they are your superior officer in your field, refer to them as Cap'n. Cap'n! If they are a male civilian of higher station than you, refer to them as Squire. Squire! A male junior, in a friendly manner, is Jim Lad. Jim Lad! While Scurvy Dog is its unfriendly equivalent. Scurvy Dog! Also, a respectful term for a male elder is a Salty Sea Dog. Salty Sea Dog! While any other male compatriot is Me Hearty. Me Hearty! When addressing a female, the appropriate term is Wench. Wench! With the correct modifier of buxom, saucy, foul, sharp tongued, loose lipped, or any other applied as necessary. Section 3 Structure The most common pirate verb is to be, as in the singular, This grog be warm, or the plural, These apples be rotten. Note the sentence structure, with the noun always before the adjective. That there be a buxom wench. Is wrong. That there wench be buxom. Is correct. Here is an example of conjugating tenses. The past. I be plundering. The present. I be plundering. And the future. I gonna be plundering. The personal pronoun is either I or me as a possessive, as in me grog, me booty, and me timbers. Section 4. R. You may be wondering why R deserves its own section, but this simple sound is an integral part of pirate speech. In fact, there are several varieties of R, being R, Yar, and Har. Try them out, and see if you can tell from these clips. R me hearty, how be the wind? Yar, I like the cut of your jib. Ha ha, that be a good one. Did you hear the difference? R is an interjection used to begin sentences. Yar is an agreement stating that you share the speaker's opinion. Har indicates laughter and expresses amusement. Important note. There are several words in pirate that are often a source of confusion. In pirate, booty means treasure and plundered goods, while in colloquial ebonics, booty encompasses a variety of descriptors for the female posterior. Note that down. Examples. Pirate is an incredibly useful language for its flexibility. 
see here how the phrase Hello, Steve. Nice day we are having. How are you? It can be altered to suit any situation. Ahoy, Jim lad. Tis a fine day to sail the seas. How be ye? Avast ye scurvy dog. The day tis ripe for bloodshed. Be ye afeard? Ho there, me hearty. The red dusk bodes well for the day's sail. Be ye bilges flooded? With this information in mind, you too can hold your own in pirate. Ahoy, mateys! I was about ready to keel haul PowerPoint today. Ah, oh, the scurvy bilge rats that designed that program. They deserve to be set afloat with the worst of Davy Jones's detritus. Ah, oh, the fair creature that did pass by my key today, eh? From copying. Oh, wow, how I'd love to pillage her loin, such a saucy wench I've never seen. Ah, oh, Mizzen Mast, I found that. Folks under the Maroon Sea. Yar! And next time, in part six of the Loading Ready Language series, we'll be looking at Klingon for the Patak. <laughs>